Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Today we're playing Dinosaur Fossil Hunter Prologue. So this is a game I've been excited about for a hot minute. There's there's going to be a Dinosaur Fossil Hunter game. It's not out yet, they've released this free prologue. Which I guess is kind of like their version of a beta, or like a demo. Um, but I'm super stoked to try it. It's basically, from what I've seen, it looks like the same as all of those kind of generic tracking whatever games. But uh, you're you're digging for, for dinosaur fossils. I've got my dinosaur buddy with me, as yet unnamed. Think of anything neat to call him. Drop it down below. We'll see what. He's not. He, he's slightly angry looking. Man, this is a loading screen. Oh, here we go. Start. Oh wow, the excitement. Can't hear anything. Is that okay? Maybe there's just no sound in this bit yet. That's fine. It's the the prologue, the demo, the demo, basically. So it's fine. Look at this. I need to increase the mouse sensitivity. <laughs> it's new. It's fine. It's new. There we go. Um, game difficulty. We can't change that at the moment. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Fine. No problem. We're like in a museum or something. Ornithomimus ebma. Edmontonicus. Ornithomimus sounds familiar, or maybe I'm thinking of a dinosaur with a similar name. Look at this bad boy! Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It's like being in the Natural History Museum. But better, actually, because the... Man, some of the displays in the Natural History Museum really need updating. It's an Edmontonia longiceps. An armoured dinosaur part of the Nodosaur family from the late Cretaceous period. Tank-like herb herbivorous dinosaur. Man, we're learning how to pronounce a lot of words today. Okay, uh, it looks like the game wants me to go this way, but I'm going to look out the window first. I've got a run button. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Your museum is starting to run out of space, and you think you've started, huh? <laughs> when I was four years old, I loved to draw dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a dinosaur dot to door. This isn't really, I wouldn't, like, no offence, kids, but I wouldn't call this drawing a dinosaur. Why oh, missed a dot? I'm not doing the best job in the world, if I'm being honest. This is how I would have drawn a dinosaur at four years old, though. If anything, slightly worse. Okay, you have to get all the dots, so... Oh, look, there's an eraser. Oh, good. Ah, oh, this takes me back, actually, yeah. I, I loved a dot to dot. What can I say? This foot isn't really a foot that I've drawn here. Oh, piss, I missed it again. <laughs> what happens if we... Is this what the game difficulty meant? What happens if we can't get past this childhood memory of doing a dot to dot? I've given him a sort of fanned tail. Daddy, I drew a dino! Ah, Okay. It was one of the most exciting days in my life. <laughs> Drawing a dinosaur? When I was eight, I found my first fossil. Ah, oh, is this us when we're eight? We don't have any legs. Ah, oh, the sea, seagulls. This is like, so I actually grew up on the Jurassic coast uh, and we did things like going out, finding fossils on school trips and stuff. So this is kind of, this is kind of my childhood. I'm loving this. Oh, hello. the school bus is honking at me while I'm looking at this tooth. I lost it six months later at the age of 44? 14. Nearly all I can think about is uh, putting together dinosaur models. So when do we... <laughs> what is this intro? I guess it's the prologue though, right? So it's kind of like giving you different different bits and pieces from before when the game is set. That bit snapped into place. Oh, it goes green. Because we're snapping the bits together. I see. Why can't I put this bit together? Oh, it's just a bit fiddly. This is free, so, you know. We'll try not to be too grumpy about. Oh, oh, I missed it. 
probably should have changed the difficulty too easy. <laughs> yeah, we're cooking with gas now. How are we snapping his head into place when he's got no neck yet? Look at it, it's beautiful. It's like a little... Diplodocus? Not sure. This one's tougher. There's no manual, but I got the sketch at least. There's no ma Is there a manual for the other one? Oh, on the back. Oh, it says what order you do stuff in. Oh. Gosh, I'm just not very smart. Oh, I can't believe this game has everything that I've ever wanted. I knew it would be brilliant. Oh, this looks like a T-Rex. Hey, buddy? He's excited. Now time for the real fun. No manuals, no sketches. The sheer knowledge and skill. <laughs> Head go here. Arm. Okay. It's like a bit of torso. Okay, just luck. Yep. Pure blind luck. We did it. Pure knowledge and skill. Maybe I could use more practice and build one of them again? No. Why? I even won the local talent show once. They loved my triceratops. Oh, it's lovely. But then we're just building a kit, right? Is that... Could you enter that in a talent show? You didn't make it yourself. The money I got as a reward in that competition. How much money did he get for building a little model... A little model triceratops? Okay. Adventure of a lifetime in your 20s? Well, I think it's possible. <laughs> well, I'm playing this dinosaur game in my 20s, so clearly it is possible. I was exactly 20 years old when I found an article about a paleontological group in a newspaper. Turns out they needed volunteers who were willing to work at the north of the country. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to miss such a great opportunity. I took a risk and signed up for the job. As you probably imagine, it paid off. <gasps> this is it. Okay, we're here, we're in. You've got a message. Press M to check out your tablet. Oh, look at my tablet. Welcome to the mining area. A few weeks ago, the miners came across something that appears to be dinosaur remains. We've managed to get the mine closed until the matter is dealt with. Given the fact that neither the workers nor the board of directors is happy about the lockdown, we have to act fast. <laughs> Ornithomimus? We've already got that in our museum, but fine. Or that maybe that's because this is the prologue. So we're finding the, the first one that we've got in our museum. That's cool. Missing bones we're looking for. Hip bone, right arm bone, the vertebra. What do you have to the knowledge tab? Oh, and then we're going to look at the Orthomimus and see what bits we've got. This is really cool! There's lots of crap around here. I suppose it's a, a mine and everyone's just left it. Right, so that generator. Little laptop, some bones, I guess. This is our, like, base camp, I suppose. And a car! We're going to drive this car? Yeah, we're going to drive this car. Oh, yeah. There is nobody in it. I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm a ghost. I don't really need the headlights, do I? Okay, apparently it doesn't matter. Space is handbrake. Drive forwards and backwards. And change between 2x4 and 4x4. Where am I going? Excavation area? I've hit a tree. Do you know how to drive a real car? Oh, this is a... Whoa, that's why it's a 10 mile per hour speed limit. But, you know. Whoa, 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 okay. Alright, maybe we... I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Switch into 4x4, four four, we're saved. The the viewing isn't very easy. I'm still finding the, the <laughs> movement of the mouse is really slow. And also the fact that it defaults to, like, looking way over the car. It's fine, though. Not complaining. It's free. And I'm driving a car. I've got a pickaxe on the top of it. Whoops. Steady. There's a log in my way. Use your chainsaw to remove the tree trunk from the road. I've also got a chainsaw. How do I get out of the car? Uh, exit vehicle. But this doesn't look like a... This is a bit of a hill start now, isn't it? Use your chainsaw. Okay. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Uh, oh, two. Oh, okay. Okay. Have they used a chainsaw? Didn't realise this would be part of the job, to be honest. No, it doesn't want to chainsaw that. That's sort of good enough. Yep, 
Um, can I just... Okay, I'll just gently leave the place that's going to roll down the hill. This is too big to pick up. But I can probably just drive past this, right? I'm not here for a chainsaw simulator. As, as great as that sounds, I'm here for dinosaurs, right? This isn't a very nice road. We're doing it, though. What? Slimy mud ahead of you. Lock the differential. I think I'm already in 4x4 drive, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. I don't need your tutorials. I know how to drive a car. Whoa! That's why I've got a pickaxe. Minecraft! Break the stone into small pieces. This is such a weird feature to sort of have in the game. Unless this is just... It's putting obstacles in my way in the road just to introduce us to the... The way of doing shit. I can just sort of lob these out of the way. Oh, oops. Trying to get in the wrong side of the car. Are we in the excavation area yet? Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a, there's a thing over there. Bring car with equipment to that place. Oh, flippinek. It does want me to bring the car down. Why did the road go up to the top and mislead me? Actually, I could probably just... We could probably just... Oh! Game didn't like that. Can I go through the water? Probably. That's a puddle and this is a 4x4. Four four. Okay. We bring the car to that place. Uh, it wants, it wants me to put the car there. Specifically there. Oh. Secure the area. What am I doing by securing the area? Holding space. Nothing seems to be happening. Oh, it's just going very slowly. What are we doing? Ah! Ooh. We've set up a little tent. We've got a message. We've got information that the perimeter is already secured and you can start the search right away. You're prepared for the job. We've got a GPR. Let's scan the ground. Don't know what GPR stands for. If you find anything, dig it out and secure it with plaster. You receive further instructions. Blah blah blah. Yeah, whatever, mate. You can't tell me what to do. G. G? Six. That's a bucket, but what's four? This must be the GPR. Oh, I've put down a flag. I'm guessing it'll just look different if we see something like dinosaur-y. Oh! Oh! That's just on the surface. Right, I've put down a flag. What do I... Do I dig it up? I mean, it's kind of on the... On the top already. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Examining it. Examining it. Now what? Can't really tell if it's anything. What about this? I found a fossil! Have I? Oh, there! <gasps> Ooh! Secure the finding in plaster. And check out the knowledge tab in your tablet. Secure it in plaster. Secure it in plaster. I'm stuck in a hole. Oh, that must be what that bucket is, right? Is the bucket plaster? Let's see. Ah! Ha ha! There we go. Cool. Right, sweet. So I've secured it with plaster. Now do I put it in a box? I better put it in a box now, right? Did I just not do it enough? Okay. Need more plaster. What's the transportation? Put them in crates. Use your car to transport them to the transport hub marked on your map. Use the tablet to... Okay, cool. That's it. First one done. Oh, headphones. Didn't even realise. In it goes. Should I dig out the rest of these? Let's see if there are anything. I need like a trash zone to put rocks that I've already... I guess this is going to be the trash pile. Oh, that's totally a fossil. That's like a... That's like a foot bone or something. I'm a paleontologist. Poo! <laughs> 
Pew! Could do with some music, couldn't it? Could do with some music. I'm gonna find something that feels appropriate. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some music in. Some sort of the most dinosaur y sort of music I can find. Oh look! Hello. Look, I say at the thing that's right in front of me, you know, on the screen that you're watching. Fossils, searching like a boss. Yeah. Faster. Splop, 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 splop. What's in a box? Pop the other one in a box. Oh, the box is in the car. Go to the wherever or something. Send them to a museum. Job done. Here's a fact I learned the other day when I was buying this T-Rex. You're falling down, friend. The Tyrannosaurus Rex had teeth as big as bananas. So we can uh, we can have that fact. You can use that wherever you see appropriate. Close that. Now, how do I map? Is it up there? It must be right where those buildings are, and there's a circle. So I can put a little point point there. Put the rest of the containers. Take them to the, the transport. Hub. That's it. Uh, how do I get out of here? Not this way. That's for that's for darn sure. That looks like an exit there. Oh, it's a bit narrow though, because of how I've made the turning. Okay, I have to go all the way around. Oh, I could probably cut across here. Easy. Easy. I'm stuck. Oh no. I'm rotating on a rock. Okay, there's a car reset button. I'm just gonna have to hit the car reset button. Yeah, whoops. I mean, that was uh, that was really my bad. I think I need to be facing the other way though, unfortunately. It has put me slightly closer to my destination. I'm just gonna do a little three, three to seven point turn here. Whoa, steady. Steady now. Here we go, we're off. And here's the drop-off site. Now we just gotta unload our fossils. Oh, I like fell out of the sky there when I um when I sort of landed, that's fine. Right down there. Hello, oh, it's exactly the same as the other one. Same laptop and notebook and everything. Very spooky. Headbones, that's very important. Not gonna have a very full exciting looking skeleton otherwise. Open the tablet to leave this area and transport the findings to the museum or continue this exploration. Right, I guess that's it. We uh, send the crates to the museum. Yes, please. So I guess we're building up our museum. That's the goal. This is so cute. 